So when we brush our teeth properly, we don't have any tooth cavities. That means our teeth is healthy, right? So what about teeth shaking? So teeth shaking is another major reason for dental problem. So if you are thinking that I am brushing my teeth daily properly, so why did my teeth start shaking? Is there something that I missed and I should have known? So some of the other things that we need to know to keep our teeth healthy is that for strong teeth, strong bone support is required underneath. So bone, immediately we remember calcium. But calcium is not the only thing that bone is made up of. Another major part of bone is protein. I realized that not many people are aware about the importance of protein in the health of the bone. And 90% of this protein is made up of collagen. Haven't I heard this word somewhere before? Yes, it is being used in beauty industry where collagen is advertised for its skin moisturizing property and also it is being used in anti-aging cream. So that is an added benefit if we are forming adequate collagen. So, protein intake should be adequate, but this is insufficient unless and until we know how much protein we have to consume daily. An average adult male requires about 55 grams of protein per day. An average adult female requires about 45 grams of protein. This is also not very helpful unless we are able to quantify the protein that we get from each food source. So food source, we cannot depend on food that we don't eat daily. So some of the common items that we consume daily Let's look at the protein content. So wheat bread, at least like two sandwiches a meal, so that is like four slices, can be about 10 to 13 grams of protein. So three meals a day, that can amount up to 30 to 40 grams of protein. One boiled egg can amount up to 13 grams of protein. We also consume dairy products daily. An average glass of milk, say 200 ml, can give about five to six grams of protein. In India, we consume idli, sambar, chapati and dal curry. So per chapati or idli, we will be consuming about 3 grams of protein. And depending upon the serving of sambar and dal curry, which is basically pulses, which is high in protein content, we will be consuming about 6 to 10 grams of protein. If you consume chicken, 100 grams, that is few pieces of medium sized chicken can give you about 25 grams of protein and soya chunks is a really good source of protein. So 100 grams consumption can give you about 50 grams of protein by itself. So that will satisfy your need. We also know that protein is made up of amino acids. It is interesting to note that some of the important amino acids for collagen production is formed by the body itself from its various energy sources as and when required. What is absolutely necessary for collagen strength is vitamin C. So immediately we think about fruits, right? So we can discuss about some of the common fruits that we consume on a daily basis and its vitamin C content. One orange can give you about 50 milligrams of vitamin C. That would satisfy the minimum daily requirement according to Indian standards. But country to country, the minimum daily requirement seems to vary. According to European standards, it's about 80 milligram. American standards say about it's 90 milligram. And Japanese standards say that requirement is about 100 to 110 milligram. So let's look at some of the other sources of fruits that is rich in vitamin C. Say papaya, a few slices, two or three slices of papaya can give you about 60 milligram of vitamin C. A better source for vitamin C would be one goa, which would give you about 220 milligrams of vitamin C consumption per 100 grams. What would be the best source which would give you a really high vitamin C content with minimal intake is Indian gooseberry, which per 100 grams gives you about 440 milligrams of vitamin C. One small Indian gooseberry would satisfy whichever standard that you are following, whether Indian, European, American or Japanese. It would be better if we split this vitamin C intake with every meal rather than consuming all at once. Vitamin C gives the strength to the collagen. So make sure you consume adequate protein and vitamin C on a daily basis for proper collagen formation. Collagen is a major protein in the connective tissue of the body. It forms about 25% of the entire protein content under the skin, cartilage, in the bone. It is really important. So consume adequate protein and vitamin C. Keep your bones healthy and as added benefit, keep the skin moisturized and delay aging as much as possible. Hope you found this information useful. I'll come up with more such health related topics. Stay tuned. Thank you.